easiest way to uh, change out some wheels on this because the uh, wheel, um, the axle size or the size of the uh, uh, center portion of these is one inch, um, way too big. So, easiest way to deal with this. Um, these are, I'll put this link in the description, but these are little um, 7 eighths to 5 eighths um, spacers and I just tapped it in. It's real short. I'll, I'll send that link and I uh, do that on both ends. And then this, uh, I'm actually gonna tack weld that just to make sure, but it's, I tapped it in with a uh, mallet and it's tight. Um, and then I'm gonna use this as the axle. This is a, a three foot long, five eighths inch rod um, and it just slips right through the center here. And then what I did was I slipped it in here and then I bought these Harbor Freight wheels. They were uh, three or four dollars a piece. Um, and I put them on the end and then I marked where I want to put, or I marked where the end of the wheel is. And then I'll show you where I'm going from there. All right, so what I did, I went to Harbor Freight, purchased a bunch of snap rings. And of course they do have the five eighths inch snap rings on there. So basically I'm gonna take this and just use a little Dremel tool and uh, go around here um, just to make a little notch for the snap rings somewhere for it to go. And then uh, this way when the wheel's on, this back plate is actually gonna sit right up against that uh, spacer. And so this will spin, so that's okay that it's uh, uh, touching that spacer. And then with this on the other side, it should hold the wheel in, we'll see. Okay, so I decided I didn't need to tack weld it. These little spacers actually, as they start going further in, they get pretty tight. So I'm not gonna tack weld it. And then, as I mentioned before, um, I basically cut a groove um, for the little snap ring and then use some snap ring pliers, you know, put it back on after drawing that mark with a marker. Uh, put it on one side, put it on the other. And now it's a little bit wider base, which is good because I noticed this was, uh, real wobbly um so it's not as wobbly and with these type of tires i can actually put it on the dirt and it'll move over obstacles a little bit easier so quickest easiest way i did it for let's see eight dollars for the tires i think it was and then the spacers were like 250 a piece to so say five dollars so 13 and the bar was seven so about twenty dollars or so um to change out the wheels whereas if you go to like uh, tractor supply you're gonna pay probably seventy dollars just in wheels and I hear they're not that good these wheels are rated pretty pretty good from Harbor Freight so I'll show you some links in the description um, easy way to upgrade